Bros. Yeah. Yeah. I got these tickets, tickets to Dark Tranquility at the Hawthorne Theater on November 27th. Oh, Say again? Shit. Who? <laughs> Mike Thrasher presents Dark Tranquility featuring Von Doom. Holy fucking shit. Von Doom. Also performing Swallow the Sun, Enforcer, Starkill, and Increate. I lost my virginity to fucking Swallow the Sun. <laughs> Good. Right. Swallowing her So pussy. check it out. <laughs> D- Von Doom, the guys with it, Von Doom, the guys of Von Doom have given us two tickets to give away. Two ticks. So we got to figure out exactly how we're going to give these motherfuckers away. All right. Mm. Um, brains of the group, all of you guys, go. <laughs> Chase, what? what happened to your back? Um, I hurt it. <laughs> hurt it? He hurt it. Old did. Papa Pring's got sick, right? What happened? Three, four weeks ago, I got sick, right? So... Wait, this story starts three or four weeks ago. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's, it's a buildup, man. Let's you gotta go let a him... little bit closer. He has, he has no, a large go for it. Three, he four weeks ago, arc. you got sick. Well, uh, here's the deal. It's a long story. We're at our house in our living room. Just getting placed. Is this part of your story, or I'm just setting a fucking. We're not at the studs. We didn't go to Doctor like right Strange. now. Not yeah. not the I'm story let, you're telling. No, I'm letting people know. I'm setting okay. this up. We didn't go to Doctor Strange, right? No, we that didn't. Was our plan. We didn't go out in a van and hang out and have laughs and go eat a delicious burger like we normally would have. We had right? to switch it up. We had to pull a fucking variable, man. You guys pulled through <laughs> and fucking came to me. You brought all the gear here. <laughs> came to me. We you guys could have done the B without me. You could have said, hey, suck it up there, old butterbean, and fucking... Deal with it. <laughs> okay, so you listen, Chase Chase hurt his back yesterday. So I fucking... Long, okay, <laughs> That's so, what we're trying to wait, say. Wait, we got to go back to long four weeks ago short, Thank sick. you, guys. I love you. This is fun. You still haven't told a fucking story yet. <laughs> right. God damn but, it. <laughs> did you hurt your back, Chase? So... I told you, long arc. Anyways, old Prings got sick a couple <laughs> few weeks ago, right? <laughs> No. And, and what happened? Just real quick. And so I kind of went off the diet, went off the workout. For a couple pounds, not feeling very good. So long story short, I had personal training Thursday and Friday. Thursday went hard. Okay. Felt good. Sore, but I was good. Friday, right. I was like, you know what? I'm happy. getting another workout in and going to go into the weekend feeling good. Going to get up, do some cardio. We're going to go B, you right, know? Right. Okay. Mindset okay. is an important thing with this guy. Um, positive, po- you know, positive, I got to yeah. do these things to be able to function. You guys see me? I'm uh-huh. a weirdo. Okay. Um, <laughs> next part of the story. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm doing battle ropes yesterday. Okay, 15 seconds of fast, 15 seconds of double arm big ones, 15 seconds of slams, back into 15 second fast. Now you're you're picturing the Dwayne the Rock yeah. Johnson. This in my whole mind, time. <laughs> I'm getting it in. I'm trying to lose 20 pounds tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe cut yeah. off an arm. I got to feel good. You know, let's do this. Right, Nothing right. in moderation, right? So, uh, so anyways, you're going hard. I'm going the hard. Ropes. And I'm like, you know, it's a half hour workout. I want to get the full amount of a half hour, right? So push yourself. Feel like you're going to throw up and puke and leave there going, ah, I did it. You know what I mean? One of those. All right, go hard. So anyways, that, oh, my back went out, right? That, that fucking. Just a. Holy fuck, you stand. You, Dude, that's what You it's might like as well too. put it's a happened. zucchini up my ass because it was like. Hmm. Hey, uh, it is. It's chest like out, a pop, <laughs> arms out. My arms just to the side, like I'm praying to God. Can't yeah. walk, <sighs> you know. So wow. that's what I did, and pop, man. like I feel for you. I I know you can relate. The back injuries are no joke. No, they're not definitely. Fun. And if you don't take care of back injuries, it just persists and fucking keeps happening. Dude, it sucks. Yeah, like in there. I don't know. So I fucking. I've never felt pain like this, right? So, real quick, I like 
Last night, Zeb and I, I was like, dude, I should probably go to the fucking emergency room or some sh- bullshit. I was right? prepared to take you down there. Fuck, man. Or at least I was like, I'll you. sleep it off. I came in. Da- I All knew David was sleeping. I fucking knock on David's door at like 8 in the morning. No, like, you just came in. <laughs> I came, you came in. <laughs> you came I was in so nervous you were going to be full on, have a boner naked spread. You know? <laughs> I was LaBeouf, but under, <laughs> under, under comforter. It was I was good. like, God damn it. Please LaBeouf. don't have a girl or please don't be just full on spread eagle. When I just this. Burst I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I woke up a couple times last night and there were no covers on me. Yeah. So it could have been, it been a that, possible. It been that route. That was a gamble. Yeah, because I... <laughs> It is Something fucking looking gamble. back at you. Yeah, those those are real real uh, risks. Because uh. when I've come into your room once or twice un, unannounced, why the fuck am I coming to your room at eight in the morning right. or late at night? Well, it's got to be a thing. Something's it's going a, on. You, you have an absolute need that that only I can help you with. <laughs> I was half which, expecting which is what yeah. at some point during the night to whew, get woke up. Yeah, so because uh, I tried to get <laughs> I tried to get my truck and everything like just go. You know, I literally barely. I don't know how the fuck I got it. Yeah, because he was fucking... And it's just crazy. He was walking dead down there all night. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> agony. <laughs> <laughs> like you had a ghoul. Dude, I couldn't... Dude, I, 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 I man-cried this morning. Yeah, man I haven't uh, I haven't had a... <laughs> what the fuck? Moment in a minute, dude. Aw. Like, just uh, a sad. whimpering man. Cry. Well, I, dude, but I was in so much... Like, bear paw caught in the trap. Yeah, man, so I had to help pain, him into dude. the car. but And he was too man... He was, you're still too man enough, though, to accept my wheelchair offer. I was yeah, going to wheel him in there. You were going to wheel him in? They had yeah, wheelchairs I right at the parking tight, lot. Man. But I couldn't have gotten like out of it. That's, I stood the whole time I was Some there. Some big nurse, big man nurse would have come and <sighs> hoisted you out of the fuck. chair. Yeah. It would have been dramatic. I probably would have got more bike then. God damn it. So, Chase... Chase, I'm, right. I'm, if you're gonna go, go all the yeah. way. I'm glad you're still with us. Well, and that things weren't worse. Yeah, so it's just far. a pinched nerve. It's classic. The doctor was like, "Yo, it, I see this four or five times a day." You know, I've done it before, but never on this scale. Long, yeah. like, long story short. Sorry for the long rant. It's okay. Well, but, well, so uh, we decided to bring the B to you. Yeah. So, uh, to be yeah, I, it's crazy. Deep breath, everybody. One. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Yeah. What's up, guys? We're back down. Hey. Welcome to the Triple B podcast. So, from How's it going, live guys? from Al Farragut's. Live from Al Farragut's in Al North Farragut's. Portland. <laughs> this is an interesting one. This time. is different. No so, headphones. I'm Zeb. Hey, Zeb. Um, Fuck yeah, what is that? With me as always, Abba. What's up? And Chase. What's up? <laughs> Elijah is sitting across from me. Hello. What's looking what's me directly up? in the eyes. And joining what's us up? for the first time in a long time, the has been a few. undisputed... Yeah, yeah. Goddamn World heavyweight champion Goddamn of Al Farragut's. Goddamn David Mann. David Lincoln Mann. Sometimes Hello. bad. Sometimes things happen and good things. Very come serendipitous. Out of it. Seren- <laughs> I think go. serendipity I is the word. That one. Yeah. We're having a good time yeah. right now. This is no coincidence. So we didn't go uh, see Doctor Strange no, as no. we had planned on doing. We're all sacrificing. But who cares? It does that? Does it matter that we didn't see Doctor Strange? Dude. You just pretend we didn't even mention it. Um, <laughs> we did have. We'll see it at some point. And we'll talk. We did get burgers from Darcy's. Yeah. In North Portland. Pretty good, dude. This is the all north episode. It yeah, is. it's been a while. All north side. It's been a while. Um, been a while. this is fucking tight. <laughs> <laughs> you like, like this, huh? Chase dude, just broke through. <laughs> zero, like, there was no, like, you know, because sometimes when you like go and just stuff your fucking face in public, you like, you don't. To go do a podcast is kind of rough after and like still be in public. And I like to do that in the <laughs> comforts of this area. Yeah, so we got to eat at home. My home. Yeah, Which no judgment. Didn't. I ate that burger so fast. That's true. It wasn't home for you. No, it Holy home. shit! It's like home away from home. Yeah. yeah. Second breakfast. Yeah. We didn't no, go anywhere. Is. We it's put on '90s fucking music videos. A little King Crimson. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. We were in the '90s, just hanging out, watching music. When's the last videos? time we've? At, that's some bro shit. It is. That's some real bro shit. Well, you're that's also like, on Vicodin, so you're like <laughs> ringleading this whole nostalgia trip. <laughs> <laughs> um, God, we, are, we have we have two t- <laughs> we have two tickets to Mike Thrasher presents Dark Tranquility at the Hawthorne Theater November 27th that we want to give away. We're gonna. We haven't decided exactly how we're going to give them away yet. So, well, at, and hey, we're going to be there. I'm going to try to go. Yeah, at some oh, point yeah. t- tonight or today out. or whenever you're listening to this this morning, um, we're going to discuss the best options as far as how to give these tickets away. A contest or a something random. A battle Send to us your underwear. I'm going to need the help of this entire group. I think like the biggest dick. Is that just yeah? Just have everybody send us some send pics. Dick pics. Send us the biggest dick pic you can. Then. What's Hatch, your and number? Girls, Chase? ladies, ladies can send the biggest uh, dick pic they've ever received. It's two five six six five one seven five zero five. Hashtag biggest. Von Doom with a dick pic and whoever's the biggest. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Winner! <laughs> Jesus. That would be a hell of a contest, though. That, that is the judge. contest. That would be a funny one. I mean, everybody already thinks I'm gay anyways. So I mean, yeah. I never really thought you were gay. <laughs> oh, maybe that's just in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, fuck, they're going to figure me out. <laughs> we got some uh, We got some entertainment news. Oh, thank God. What's going on? If you guys are curious as to what's going on in the entertainment world outside of uh, Beyonce and the Dixie Chicks. Um, oh, Dixie yeah. Chicks. That was a like big some deal. racism going on or something? <laughs> <Yeah>. No. <laughs> no, yeah, not, never not in recent years. This isn't the 50s anymore. Yeah, it's over. That shit's, those days are over. Um, oh, I forgot that score. Uh, so this is, I don't, I don't know if this is good news. I think this sounds like terrible news to me, but um, there's a Starship Troopers reboot in the works. Yikes. Uh, um, yeah. It might be famously bad as well. With this, <laughs> the same writers as the guys writing the new uh, Baywatch, The Rock. Whoa. Are the guys who wrote The Rock's Baywatch. So this is summer blockbuster team right <laughs> yeah, here. Bro down. The real deal. Uh, it might be as good as the old one. As the original story. I don't know. Are you guys gonna... Some people really like that. It is a little interesting and stuff, but it was just, it was just so cheesily done. Yeah, Are you guys going to watch amazing. Baywatch? No, I'm so over reboots, man. That's like all anybody offers anymore. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. Ever every, anymore. Has every tale been told? Like we've, we've, all we've, of them. We're no, tapped man. out. Stephen King. It is kind of bizarre. No huh? Society's like gassed. You know? Well, it's all just fucking pl- like if it's not a reboot, then it's pride from an already written work. Like that seems to it's be just the easy way. money, right? Comic books, sense. novels. Yeah. It worked. It's gonna work. Let's get let's squeeze as much fucking twins out of these fucks as we can. Keep it moving. Yeah. Right. I'm trying to fucking have a Christmas over here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kids and fucking. Do you mortgages. bring up Christmas on every episode? <laughs> he loves it's it. really about that excited. Time, huh? It's about that time of the year, man. <laughs> we did what we watched Home Alone. Uh, That's true. We're gonna watch Home Alone too again. We watched Borat <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. 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 What else? Borat. Oh, dude, David put on Borat this morning. Yeah, that was a good that was fucking a good, call. That was a good way to start the day. So you're having a good time with this back issue. You're just yeah. chilling out with your bros watching yeah, it's like, movies. It's like a snow day, except instead of snow, it's Vicodin. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's, it's hard. It's socially to okay to be loopy right now. I can tell my mom. Yeah, I got these Vicodin. <laughs> no, you're in pain. It's just you gotta do something. Need them. Pain. You were prescribed them. Yeah, the doctor. I paid legal government cash. I was taxed on these. No, I, what it was I? I was deducted, my medical deduction. <laughs> Pay fucking forty dollars a goddamn paycheck. You were deducted for this shit. <laughs> better, better. Still be don't home. understand it. I still had to pay uh, three twins. I Jesus. fucking hate insurance, man. It is what such fuck? a fucking crazy thing to try and figure out. Like, right? what is best for me in yeah. this situation? What do I need? Like, Aflac? Do you guys have that? David, do you do that shit? <laughs> I don't do Aflac. 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 It's like $5 a month. And if you get hurt, they give you money. Maybe I should hit him up. I don't know how it <laughs> works, late. though. It's too late, bro. Happened? I swear to God. that's what... Yo, I'm going to give you five bucks. If so... I get hurt. You give me more money. It's something like that. That's though, a pretty dude. interesting interpretation of their services. <laughs> is that not how it goes? I'm going to hit them up. I, mean, it's I a, pay for it. That's pretty much exactly how it is. Just so, in very simple. So you're going to hit them up terms. after the fact. After the fact of you getting hurt. Yeah. To get here's money. Here's the here's proof. It's it's full almost I'm a foolproof plan. I got a doctor. I need now. it. I need it. Now. I'm not even lying. That's the I don't funny know part. If they're just going to pay you. Yeah. Because you <laughs> hey, I got I my think doctor's that's what they do. check. I swear to God, that's what that guy conned me into. Signing up for some send us proof that you've been hurt. Maybe he, maybe he just <laughs> oversimplified it to you. Yeah. What is yeah. your what's Affleck in your guys' mind? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, man. Oh, it's Jesus. an insurance company, isn't it? All right, let's look at it. Isn't up. Affleck like extra like workers comp? Basically? Yeah, that's ba- like, you. We if have you to get, get hurt, hurt on the job. You don't that. even have to be, get hurt on the job. That that was another thing about it. extra workmen's hmm. comp. We got we got. Who's uh, knocking at the door? Someone's knocking at the door. We got a guest. Everybody, Dun-dun-dun. we're at our house. Oh. This is an. Uh, this is live. This is live. This is live. Just answer it. Just okay. answer. It. Who Let's, cares? This could be fun. Who yeah. cares? See what happens. Oh, good. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Dang, he's got to do this. This is serious. He's got to do it. This Whoa. is Electric Avenue shit. Whoa, that's weird. I would have told that guy to fuck off. Hey, um, we're busy. 
So he gone. while Dave is gone, let's talk about something he probably has absolutely no interest in. Let's get into <laughs> also it. in the let's get back in to the area of reboots. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, Universal is developing a live action Voltron movie, Ooh. Um, which I'm assuming that the buzz around the new Power Rangers movie probably has got them thinking, okay, we can do this. Right. Because they've right. just recently rebooted Voltron on Netflix. Yeah, I Haven't saw some that. of that. I mean, which I is pretty cool. Thing, but I didn't yeah. watch it. So they're going live action now, hmm. which should be silly and ridiculous. Yeah, it'll be like I could see if they go over the top with it, you know. Yeah, and Voltron, man, that was classic. What about the Power Rangers reboot? What do you think of that? I think it looks tight as fuck. It actually, looks tight. Yeah, it might be interesting. I man. want it. I like, wanted it. I think. Right I, yeah, now. I'm excited about it. I like that they're not approaching it the same way. Yeah. They're not going over the top. They're actually going with a serious tone with it. Yeah. At least it seems that way. Right. Hey, man, they got Brian Cranston. I know it's Chase still gonna be a, for real. It's still gonna be a movie for teenagers or yeah. young teens. You know. I think it's gonna be rated Power Rangers. I uh, I went on a be crazy. I well, we got the R rated Power Rangers, Rangers, like or the little short film. Yeah, there is that short film. What's that guy's name? The guy who directed Uh, High. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that was cool. That was fucking badass. The violent one. Yeah, dude, that shit. I love Power Rangers. With the dude from Dawson's Creek. We used to play Power Rangers in the cul de sac. I believe you. You did too. You were a Power Rangers guy. You were late on the. You were the Red Ranger. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and <laughs> I was the Black Ranger. Yeah, but you know what's funny? I was the White Ranger. His name was Zach. Yeah, fuck yeah. You're the White Ranger. Yeah, I guess. you were Tommy. I'm Tommy. When really? You le- when you leveled I'm up, white slash green. What's the oh, or- nice. yellow guy? It's like a. That's an Asian lady. I know. <laughs> it's a gal. Kim or no? Whatever Kim was though. Pink. What's the symbol? Kimberly. What was she the was animal? So Kimberly. Pink. Yeah. What was the animal for? They were. For yellow. yellow. Yeah. It was like a saber tooth tiger. Yeah, that's it. I was masted on Lion Thunder Zord power. <laughs> I watched the old uh, I, I watched the Power on. Rangers movie after that trailer it was on Crackle or whatever yeah you got through the whole movie I watched no it was during the free HBO preview weekend uh, okay remember that yeah Power Rangers was the first time I ever heard the phrase catchy on the flip side <laughs> and the chick they chose to be the villain the angry lady looks pretty Elizabeth hot. Banks yeah, yeah. I can't remember what yeah, her she's name playing was. Rita Banks doing it. what was her name in the show Rita though? Rita right yeah. Rita I wasn't listening Rita that. Rita Ravenous or some crazy shit. Like, David, what was that all about out there, bro? Oh, um, well, it's actually kind of a cool deal. I'll tell you guys. Uh, <laughs> you Here we go. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, no, it's... it's uh, Switching gears. So our PG e-bill is going to um, go up four bucks a month so that we can get all of our energy 98% locally sourced through, like, mostly wind power, green energy. I'm in. So, uh, I'm in. Whoa, you know, it's cutting back on fossil fuels and all that. Man. But here's the thing that this guy, who his name I won't name because I don't want to get him in trouble because he was a very uh, informative, nice young guy in the rain doing Jeff. a hustle. But we got a $400 book of coupons what? for Chinook Book what? to local businesses. And the what? activation code, this is the insider information, is the same and can be entered by all of us. So let's say there's, what, five of us here right now? Yeah. We so can all, all get this Essentially, score? we'd be getting, you know... Two thousand two thousand dollars in coupons. I'm trying and to get my fucking Christmas the, these shopping These are places on. that you guys on the B in the future could go get burgers at. What? On the cheap, cheap Burgerville. Thanks to Green Energy. Damn. What the? Hell? Shout out to yeah. Green Edge. Portland yeah. General Electric. Green You've yeah. done it again. Green Edge. It's hot, dude. Killing it. Yeah, yeah that's that's coupon. that's service, dude. That, no, that kid killed Fuck it. Century Link, remember their cocksuckers that came over here? <laughs> I don't want to talk about your internet. Well, your internet sucks balls. <laughs> Shout out Century Link. Yeah, you know what? Funny is Chase. Okay, as much as he bitches about the internet, these people from Century Link showed up to ask us about how our internet was, and he didn't even say a word. He, <laughs> I was trying to eat. He was like, "Be gone." <laughs> <laughs> Leave us. I was a little rude. I was maybe a little, but not like too we, much. We should have been like, well, you know what? Actually, it's f- fucking unsatisfactory. Yeah, uh, I can't play Diablo well, in the basement. Sucks. When did this happen? This was a couple that weeks ago. That would have been ago. so tight if you told him. <laughs> I can't play, I can't play yeah, Diablo I can't in my basement. Anything. I do. Because Chase doesn't hold his tongue when when he's angry. No. Well, he wasn't angry. He was at a point of zen with his food and eating. I, was, I, had, I just had... He, had, yeah, he, he found her. his center. I think I, yeah, he I had think tunnel vision day, towards... Remember the steak and eggs or something? I think uh, so, because you talked about before and how you told them. You were like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go eat breakfast. Yeah, he, may, he had just made a big old <laughs> breakfast plate. Yeah, maybe like biscuits and gravy. I don't know. I did something. I should have talked to him, but I'm like one of those people... But it was like... One, yeah, it's I like a morning where you're like... When somebody comes to the door, I'm like, I hide. 
I've like hid. Ooh. I've straight yeah, up hid. Yeah, you guys are hiders, huh? Yeah, but I've had cops with sim- semi-automatics knock on that front door. <laughs> what kind of what kind of what? Yeah. Semi-automatic. <laughs> <laughs> what semi-automatic. do semi-automatics look like? <laughs> Extendo clips. I can barely stand up right now. <laughs> That's really. Good. Um, oh, what do you guys want to talk about? We got all sorts of shit on the list here, but um, who cares? I kind of like our. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Kind of like our free flowing yeah, format today. This Jesus. is we're, yeah. we're comfortable. Let's light up another bolster. Right? <laughs> <laughs> spark a joint. You guys been watching uh, Westworld? Yeah. No, I, uh-uh, I, I need haven't. to watch it. I need Dude, to start that, it. I can't tell if it's really good, so good or if it's just okay. Well, no, it's so fucking I, unbelievable. it's like halfway through the season, right? So I feel like it needs to – there has to be – there's going to be a big reveal soon. There has and to I be. I think there has to be. Well, they're kind of – I think they're, they're on the path. Because this is going to be an ongoing, right? I don't know. Like, it, it doesn't yes. say anything about a limited event, so they're going to try to keep it going. So I feel like it's going to be one of those where the the f- beginning is really long, and then we get to this big reveal and twist, and then it, like, shifts. Because, the okay, thing. so because I think right it's going to be, like, robot. It, it was, like, slow, and eventually you were, like, got your fucking dick blown. Yeah, because like, right now we don't really know anything. One? We just know it's there's this big oh. mystery. Remember how robot kind of started We can't off have kinda... side combos. Sorry. Sorry. We don't have headphones and I'm high. God damn it. <laughs> I'm shutting up. All right. No, don't shut up. No, I'm sorry. Come on, man. I'm sorry. We guys. need you. I'm sorry, guys. We need you. No, but uh, speaking of Mr. Robot, did you see what Rami Malek got fucking... Uh, yeah, but I want to talk about Westworld still. All right, all right. Sorry. I heard the side <laughs> conversation. Okay, here's my thing. Here's my... The one, the one thing I want to say about Westworld. Yeah. So but our main setting is the park. Right. But that can't be... The main, like, when, whatever happens that's big right. has to be bigger than the park. No, exactly. That's has why to be I more like, than the because park. Because right now, we have no idea how this story can continue, like, a second season. Like, I don't know really a way they could that would be interesting. Well, because most so of our plot points a... are happening within the park, right, within the confines right. of the story so of the park. We have no idea what's going on Some big there, shit, right? Really. Yeah. So... It's really interesting. It's got my attention. I wouldn't say that it's like a fucking amazing show yet. Every time something happens where I'm like, I feel like it's getting really good, I'm like, I remember that this is like a story in the park. Right. So this, you know is, what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. You're like, wait, dude's up to something. Like, there's like this guy's gonna get shot, but it doesn't. It doesn't. But it doesn't matter because it's a fucking it's robot. Not real. So is, is this scripted? Is even these things scripted? So where does like, it go? It's confusing. Where it's like we go the fucking. Uh, you remember in Men in Black with the cat, and she has the universe on her fucking little collar thing. It's Orion's like, belt. It's like that kind of reveal, like the universe. Oh yeah, because it's bigger than that, and yeah. we don't know like, anything. Whoosh. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? It's a good one. You know though. what I, I mean? definitely suggest. I definitely so suggest uh, people. Rami Malek then. Yeah. What's going on with him? Man, he he's got cast. fucking handsome, by the yeah, way. Yeah, what did Ooh. he get cast in? I can't even remember at this moment. Uh, I don't know. This is your this is your story. Yeah, dude, get you it together. You got to grab this one by the balls. Know, grab it by the dick, man. I just saw that he got cast in some big shit. Oh yeah, it was the Freddie Mercury in the Queen biopic. Ooh. Yeah, uh, which I thought Sasha Baron Cohen had it, but I guess that he was having some differences with the band, with the remaining band. That's tight. And uh, he was fighting the band during rehearsals. Yeah, they they didn't want him to sing in his Borat character voice. Oh really? <laughs> no, he was really pushing for it. No, really? No. Oh, I like that Dude, I was like so on board with that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. Like, but so they picked Imagine up your boy, Rami, from character. fucking right. Robot. So Rami Malek is known mostly as Elliot Alderson. Right. Is Did it he Alderson? write and direct that show, too? No, no. that's uh, Sam Esmail. Yeah, Sam Esmail. But uh, Rami Malek, the only other thing that I know him from is as, like, Pharaoh in the Night at the Museum. Right? Oh. <laughs> I <didn't laughs> or it's not right. Pharaoh. He's some other character. Is that Ben right. Stiller's movie? Yeah, he's like one of the little guys, I think. Or, ah, okay. Uh, I've never statue. seen that movie. But he's weird. about to be in Rogue One, isn't he? No. No? What is? I thought he was in something else big coming out. I'm not sure. Maybe he is. I, don't, I just might not know about it. I don't know, man. I'm not a... Uh, oh, no. I'm thinking of The Night Of. The dude. Night Of. Yeah. That's great show, yeah. by the way. That is a great show. <laughs> it's a good one. And we'll never have another. Did you guys see the new Supergirl? Yeah, buddy. No, dude, DVR the shit out of it. Is it getting good? Are you digging it? No, it's not. It's never oh, come good. on! I love yeah, it. It's dude. never gonna get good. I love it, we but it's not good. Don't say that. The other night. 
Yeah, Hockey. we watched the most recent episode yeah. the other night. Was I guess I right? did watch it. It was pretty tight, huh? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah sure. Whatever. I mean, it, it kind of reminds me of when Smallville was on TV. It's totally a, Has that same yeah. a C- CW, CW feel. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. Like the, what was that? The OC? Or was that Fox? That was Fox. Yeah, Dave, it did doesn't you watch feel the like OC? That. Fuck man, you I totally had, watched this. I had this girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we watched me. OC. We, we watched Super Buffy Girl. the Vampire Slayer. We watched it all. Yeah, it was you're a, you're a you you're a watched all of Sex and the City type of guy. Yeah, I own Sex and the City, but that was by choice. The OC, I had no choice. I don't like, think the OC and Sex and the City are very similar. No. Anyway, no, not at all. I think they are. <laughs> <laughs> like a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could argue was that point. Bef- was before OC, though. <laughs> no. Before yeah, I think no it might way. have been. It started like 99, 98. Really? Yeah, yeah, Sex and the City was a bit older. Yeah, the OC they're, wasn't they're doing like a third Sex, Sex and the City, City movie. Sex and the City and on at the same time? Uh, yeah, they overlapped. Oh, HBO is dominating hand that. Hand. Did, did, the stories, that did the stories overlap at all? <laughs> oh, Killing no. it. That would have been amazing. 99. Sopranos in the Sex and the City. Yeah, the, the girls like the girls hours. just accidentally waltz into the bada bing, and they're like, oh, you know, <laughs> that'd it. be cool. They should have done a crossover, like Silvio a Family Guy and Polly. Yeah. Did any of oh, you guys look at those girls? Did any of you guys watch The Wire when it was actually on HBO? I still haven't Aaron? watched it. Never watched it. Favorite question anyone asks me on a regular basis. <laughs> okay. But really? That's yeah. right. People ask. So you that? I hear that if question. If you watched oh, but it while you it was on. The wire? No, uh, but this was around. This was a different it? one, though. Did you any of you guys ever watch it when it was airing live on HBO? That's um, uh, what you yeah. asked. Isn't that yeah. the same thing? Just <laughs> different no. way of saying it. No, he wants to know if you actually were watching it while it was on, right? As oh. yeah, to everybody on. who went back and watched it after they heard it was great. But no, I went back and watched it. But it was pretty soon after it was off. What made you not like The Wire? I have never seen The Wire. <laughs> I have never seen it. It's either. not that I don't <laughs> like it. I've never seen it. The thing that I hate, <laughs> oh. the thing that I hate is everybody always asks me, "Oh, but have you seen The Wire?" It's like, no, I haven't seen. The I feel like it's too late. If I go back and watch it now, it's going to seem old. It and is old, silly <laughs> compared yeah. to the new. It's shit. a weird. It's like playing Counter Strike, like the second edition. There's nothing weird about that. You know. Wait, uh, Chase and Abba, are you guys the only ones who have seen The Wire in this room? I don't. Uh, I guess so. Never finished it. Well, you never confession. finished it? That's my confession of the day. I heard there was a like season a that really seasons. sucked because of the writer's strike that was going on. Like season three or four. Somebody always tells me like the first yeah. couple seasons are great, but then like I see that. It, it takes a dive. Yeah, it it got like kind mm. of unmemorable at the end when it kinda came to a close, I think. Yeah. Um, it's just like, but uh, it was pretty the Baltimore good. shit is tight though. Yeah, like, like I, the I whole really like, dug it. There were some great characters, Stringer Bell, Bubbles and like these characters that you definitely kind of get to get emotionally involved in, mm-hmm. you know. It was like one of those, it was definitely kind of like that first series of like, a, whatever, fucking 30 hour movie or however long this right. series ended up being. Just you know? a. You know, shit is fucking crazy. Yeah. Like Game of Thrones is a fucking movie from start to finish. It's a lot of movies. It's a lot of fucking movies, movie, but it's a movie. fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like a movie every two episodes. Is like it's a the craziest movie. formula ever. It really like, is crazy. And then obviously the Netflix fucking binge thon shit. You know, like put the whole fucker up. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, they you do that. Sad There's fuck that, on a Friday. That new one they ben just put out. Ben and Jerry, here I come. The Queen. The one about Queen Elizabeth yeah, on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I started that last night. It looks like it might be interesting. The Crown. Okay, as the guy know. from the... Thirty Rock. Oh. Lithgow. It's The Crown, isn't it? The, the Crown? Crown? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah, David, you're going to ah. like this movie. This yeah, show, I, I, I just I just uh, went blasted through Marco Polo, which was not great. You seem like you got into it, though, for a bit. There's some nice... There's like a lot of... There's a lot of nude scenes in it, which I was surprised. Like a lot of Mongolian tots. <laughs> it was real weird. <laughs> all right, all but right. it was, you know, it wasn't historically accurate because I went and researched it. Um, and yeah, it was, it was entertaining, though. It was definitely on the heels of like... Riding the coattails of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Filled I bet you'd like Black Sails. I yeah. bet you guys would both like Black Sails, Chase. Yeah, I just started Black Sails. Is that, is that on Stars? Yeah. yeah. Nice. The pirate one, right? Yeah, it is. Zeb just Have got Stars. I've seen stars, five huh? episodes. Yeah. So. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. That's okay. Tits, ass, and blood. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I like my TV. <laughs> <laughs> Tits, Perfect. ass, and blood. The trio of power. So I got a confession, boys. Oh, yeah. I uh, watched uh, the first two episodes of The Walking Dead. Congratulations. Wait, like the very first two? Yeah, the new season. Oh, of the new season. So that's not the very first two. Have you seen the other (laughs) 
five seasons, six seasons? Oh yeah, but like okay. I stopped at like four, I think. So no. Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but only a few. Yeah, I missed uh, like right when they mm-hmm. they got that fucking prison or whatever, and they like you yeah. know with the fence and all that shit. Mm-hmm. They're you know, which is about where I picked up. So we are. Together, same, same. we are same, same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, put you guys together, you see. The the, we're like an Oreo, bro. We're walking. Dead. So, what do you think? Oh, how, how are you liking it? Um, dude, I get what you were saying on the last podcast about how, uh, fuck, that's pretty hard to watch. You know, it's pretty brutal. Yeah. You know? Um, are do, are we are we still? Is it still eggshells with the spoilers? Do you think? Or is I it, mean, I, I feel like if you don't know yet. If you haven't seen the first episode matter. of season seven of The Skip Walking Dead, a little bit. Or just go watch it, Jesus Christ, and then come back and we Hit can talk about it. that little button that goes, 15 seconds, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Who wants to spoil it? Who wants to say the spoiler? Uh, well, we don't have to, I don't deserve We don't have to be it. super specific. Yeah. I don't like, deserve it. No, two, it was just brutal. Just say it. Two members of, it was too of brutal, the party, of Rick's party, got fucking destroyed. Yeah, the Asian yeah. dude. Horrible. Glenn is yeah. the Asian guy. <laughs> was it something about eyeballs? Well, his he got his his, kind of bulging his skull out. cracked. Oh, cool! And his with eye was like bat half with out. Fucking barbed wire wrapped around it. Ooh. Barbed wire, barbed wire. dude. That's fucker. That's the fucking times in the head. That's the cactus Jack special yeah. right there. It was, it was pretty yeah. ugly, man. Yeah, but just the the one crack and him staring at her. And oh my being god! Like I'm sorry. And he hit Glenn like, like twice, and Glenn's like sitting there, and he can't like. He's, but he's trying to say something, but he's all his eyes falling out. And it's he's an all, hour straight of just intense yelling. I like the meme that <laughs> shows sloth. Ah, that's the vibe from, the whole time. Just you know, there's a meme that shows sloth from Good Goonies, and it was like, <laughs> "I'll remember you, Maggie." <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucking interesting. It was and hard then, to watch. And then it into the, I won't spoil the second episode, but yes, you will. It, no, it couldn't be any more different, though. It I was mean, so it, strange. It just completely turned the fucking. Oh my god. I think your your clue to us was, was Jungle Book. Yeah, that's, yep. what, you that's said. what I'll All say. I'll say that right now. <laughs> I won't spoil book. it, but think spoiler. Jungle Book. I haven't watched it yet. Um, it's it's interesting. I mean, it's just going. We have to remember that like people are split up and stuff, so it's kind of shifting to these other storylines yeah. that are also going on. A lot of shit um, going on. Yeah, that, it's a dense fucking watch. It is. It's a dense watch. It's a dense dense watch. watch. You don't say dense read anymore. Remember that? Yeah, it's a dense read. (laughs) You never say that. I don't think I've ever uttered those words. It's still a term. It's a term, dude. Yeah. David fucking knows that term. Yeah. Yeah. (sighs) It's a dense read. There's a lot of words crammed in there, man. (laughs) God damn, there's a lot of shit you gotta fucking put together. Abba. Yo. What is Stan Against Evil? Stan Against Evil is this new IFC show. Um, it looks like it's kind of on the Ash versus Evil Dead tip, um, but it's like comedy horror, I guess. I haven't gotten a chance to check it out yet, but it looks pretty good. Looks like it'll be a funny one. I hope I it's wanna, not too much like Ash. And I can't remember who stars in it, but I want to say it's Homeboy from Scrubs that plays Dr. Cox or something. Like oh, that. John C. McGinley? I believe so. Oh, we talked about Holy him earlier. Holy shit, it well, came okay. full circle. It is full circle. Holy That's shit. That's amazing. That just blew my fucking mind. Yeah. Dude, what? what happened? This is the reason why I don't use a hard R anymore. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. This is what we were talking about in like the, no. the, the warm up before we went live was oh, okay. Chase's uh, vocabulary it changed, bro. I don't yeah. say not, fucking retard anymore. That's not the uh, hard R though. So take it easy. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah. You gotta be careful, <laughs> you gotta be careful what you're insinuating, man. <laughs> he's also sadly retiring the the term "touch of the downs." Yeah, and he's yeah, gotta give it up. It oh, but that's so okay. good. It though. definitely is Johnny C. McGinley. It is. Okay, I'm watching wow. the got a full circle. circle. Yeah, it looks pretty good, man. It looks funny. It looks like it's not too scary. But Touch of the Downs anything, but... is only a joke. Everybody. I mean, when you see this picture, it looks <laughs> scary as balls. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, dude. Man. It's going to be badass. No, it's on man. IFC, right? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, man. Dr. So, Co- that one Dr. Out. Cox was the best, by the way. He was the best. So, he was the great. best character so, that's ever been on Story, I. I learned a lot about this guy from a podcast I listened to this week, right? <laughs> okay. About and, Johnny uh, C? Yeah, dude. He's a trained actor from New York. Pretty yeah. fucking cool. He's a trained actor. Dude, he was working at this fucking restaurant, right? And he was bussing and uh, serving drinks and making like... He said he was walking home with like 500 a night or some bullshit like that. And he's like, if I didn't quit that job, I would have never pursued acting because I was making money. You know what I mean? It was, uh, it was kind of a cool conversation. One of those like... 
Yeah, fuck it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah. if I ever... Just like that. Yeah, well, you know what? This, is a, this is a good segue, though, into one of our new segments that we're uh, going to try out here on this episode. Yeah, let's see how this works. Chase, what did you learn this week? Well, it was a week of fucking reflection. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> honestly, dude... Is this going to start three weeks ago? Yeah. No, nah, it's just kind of one of those weeks where, like... Everything comes crashing, but it kind of all makes sense, you know? All right. Yeah, so well, what's what's beautiful. the best thing you learned this week? Well, um, through this whole progression of learning certain words aren't nice <laughs> and fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Realizing, like, you know what? You can't be a fucking moron all the time, you fucking dangus. Get it together, you know? I took this dab the other night, dude, and I fucking went down in the basement and went to the fucking dark side, dude. It was like, oh my God. people listen are going to listen, might listen to this shit, <laughs> you fucking idiot. I was having a, you know, one of those real stone... I'm freaking out moments. Okay. Yeah. Facing everything. Yeah. About the podcast, about everything. So you're just like, downstairs. <laughs> just high. Just woo, in, in just your in head. I was in fucking, might as well have been outer space. Walls are fucking in on me and shit. Like high. Oh, like way too high. It was okay. a pretty gnarly dab, dude. It you was good. I, uh, it was <laughs> fucked up. Uh, so but I got it, sidetracked. So. It ruined your night. And I, but I learned some what shit from it. it. I, I woke up and I was like, holy shit. You know, one of those like. Almost like a mushroom trip or something, you know? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Though. Blowing like, a little yeah. bit. When you like uh, really have to face your shit. So then I pulled my back out of this, like, I'm going to fucking get after it, right? Now I'm sitting here fucking hobbled up like fucking, I don't know what the fuck. So, so what did you learn? I yeah, watched you learn the this fucking, week? I learned about fucking fossil fuels, boys. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, what did you watch? Well, I watched the fucking Leo show, dude. <laughs> Before the flood? Before the fucking flood, dude. The and like, show. dude, it was crazy. Like, is that on Netflix? No, it's on Nat Geo. Mm, okay. But it's they on aired YouTube. it like, it's on YouTube, I think. Yeah, they aired yeah, it commercial free. It. Dude, the whole segment about and here we are eating burgers, so like this guilt is real right now. You know what I mean? Like cows put out more fucking what is it? Fucking <laughs> Methane. 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 Mm-hmm. Dude, uh, yeah. mouth breathers, boys. <laughs> fucking mouth it's breathers. It's not because they breathe out of their mouths. <laughs> They're smacking. That's what you say. Do you know, do you know why they, the cows produce methane? Dude. Grass. <laughs> Guessing. And shit. Right? So you know how they have like multiple stomachs, right? Yeah, dude. So they like chew Double gas up grass and swallow Double it and like gas. store it for later. <laughs> and while it's down there, it... Yeah. Whatever the word is, you need a is. lot of fucking calories to stand and eat. <laughs> yeah. Maintain that, but it energy. produces the methane gas. So cows are one of the worst because there's so many of them. Because we eat so much beef that we just have like this like massive percentage of the planet covered in cow farts. Yeah, cow farms. <laughs> For real. If everybody stopped eating burger or uh, hamburger, like switched to chicken, it's something like I don't know the fucking numbers because I didn't learn anything. What? Um, <laughs> what? That's what you learned. Well, the, the the point is, is that if we all just cut at least cut back on the beef, it could have a, a significant impact on. It was really well done. Trying to help, what, trying what to if, solve this problem. What if just a small amount of us just ate a lot more beef? Would that help? Yeah, no. maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. Like, I don't you all that stop, helping. but I just continue. Yeah. And I'll just be the one percent, one percent of beef. Be well, beef one percent. Like we well, can, who chooses who gets to be. We could be in the bank's position of Jesus. food. <laughs> I I control it all. And just fucking, with your beef, yeah, just never beef. mind. Let's control the beef. <laughs> Hoarding the beef. So what you learned this week? <laughs> then, fucking, uh, we're fucked. Is that beef is bad? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Essentially. Right. Yeah. So what are you gonna do about it? Try not to eat as many burgers, man. We got to get to the turkey burgers, boys. <laughs> and, uh, and maybe this whole, like, we got to fucking... Got to find them turkeys. Yo, we're going vegan cart this one or some shit. I got to embrace that. <laughs> <laughs> not fight it like you usually do? Yeah. Just angry yeah, about it sucks. the whole time? It's you know okay what? to eat some maybe healthy it's, shit, Maybe man. it's perspective. You know, why do I keep going on these goddamn journeys and ended up right back to a broken back and a, and a sack full of Ronnie's and a heart full of shame? You are a country song. <laughs> yep. You are Beyonce at the CMAs. <laughs> oh, so I learned that fucking 
I think yeah. we covered it. Yeah, that's why yeah, I don't learned. think you have to sum it up at this we're, point. Yeah, we're yeah, good. I got, I got a qu- How long was that segment intended to be? Because it's a new one. Yeah. A couple minutes. Give or yeah. take. A <laughs> couple ten. A couple, couple two, three. A couple twelve. Whatever. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's good. Did you guys watch the Atlanta finale? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm kind of sad that it's such a short season. Yeah. Because yeah. the finale, too, didn't feel to me like it was like an end to anything. It mm-hmm. was certainly not an end. But do you no. really feel like there was a start to much? Like. No, and that's like what I'm telling people. It's not one where you have to watch it in uh, in order or Mm-mm. anything. It doesn't no. really. I don't know if it helps. Other than to just get to know a couple of the characters, but yeah. Like other than that, no, you can kind of jump in just wherever. But yeah. you should watch every episode because no, they're absolutely. Rock. I mean, there's a little bit of an underlying story with him yeah. and Van and the kid, and yeah, it's just getting the, you emotionally the... invested. But yeah, it's not super yeah. linear. It's not important to like stay caught no, up. It's dope, man, and that just uh, the humor in that is so good. Like I just love yeah. the little subtleties and shit. Yeah, you know? the, I think the finale was a really good example of that. Like mm-hmm. they they just kind of pulled out all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Free chicken sandwich day. Yeah, that was amazing. Oh, favorite Holy shit. Next shot. <laughs> <laughs> Free chicken sandwich day. He's all stoked. <laughs> no. Wouldn't you be? Oh uh, God. No, I'm that's fucking, good. I'm man. savoring that one. Because I know it's good. You are know, you savoring I'm, it? Yeah, <laughs> I'm savoring it. <laughs> or are you waiting to watch I'm it? I'm waiting for a special night for that one. <laughs> Maybe tonight. Night. It might be fucking go down and fucking... Go down in the basement and get the... Atlanta tonight, yeah. Snuggle up and Atlanta down. <laughs> yeah. Like, how long do you think it'd take to get through it all? Four hours? <laughs> Three hours. Yeah, maybe. Three hours? Three hours. It's like half hour episodes, right? Yeah. But with commercials, it's like 18 minutes. And there was only, what was the total? Like eight episodes or 10 episodes? Eight episodes, I think. It's still a little math. Right? No, I think it was 10. 17 times 10. 10. I always think it was only eight. If it's a good show, I only I feel like it was only eight. Right. It was was really 10. I know the the BAN episode was episode seven. And then the club was episode eight. Well, there there you go. I think there was two more after that. Okay, okay. A jingo. Well, shit. (laughs) Learning shit every day. Did you guys? Did you guys hear what? Uh, are you? Did you guys hear what Louis said this week what Louis when he was said. talking about uh, Louis C.K. about Hillary? Yeah, about Hillary and, I did. and Donald oh, Trump. Oh yeah, I saw yeah. that. So he full on endorsed that. Hillary. Yeah, yeah. Was this, it was on Conan, right? Am I yeah, am I remembering Conan. correctly? He full on endorsed Hillary. He told people to vote with their hearts. He said, "You're an asshole if you don't vote." Well, he pretty much said it. The day after this drops, we're gonna have a new president. Really? Yeah, it's true. Well, well, we'll, we'll, we'll know who our we'll next know. president is. Yeah. We don't get the new one until next year. <laughs> no, they but... just put them in there. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless there's a bunch of hanging chads or some Switch. kind of weirdness. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be weird. So, man. But the backlash from uh, kind of not, not just feminist groups, but women's rights activists or whatever, is that he was sexist in building up Hillary too high the way he did. So he basically made it sound like moms can do no wrong and they're so much more important than dads. Um, which this is okay, this is how yeah, many so levels there are now to this shit. Because oh, that. absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. so on, on the on the surface it's like, okay, so dads should be offended, right? That he said that about them. But women there are women who are offended by him, by this this uh, idea that telling women they're too too good is bad for them. Right. You just can't you get have it a level right. Of bad. You just I can't think, get it right with ladies, I think they ladies, should man. all shut up. <laughs> we just can't get it right. It's so stupid. We just can't get it right. This so is David Mann's dudes. favorite fucking shit right here. We're just here. What do you mean? Social media fucking... Oh, I hate it. Just fucking this <laughs> whole... This social favorite. justice norm. I, I, I don't know. It's I frustrating. <laughs> like, yeah. fucking... This is a gripe for the man. I, this is a gripe. I'm glad you're speaking for him. I want to hear the fuck. I want to hear how you feel about this, Mr. Man. About, about what? God, uh, this fucking age we're living that's in. Not we're talking about. I'm not talking I, about the age I, we're living in. I hate the age we're living in. We're talking about a specific situation that just happened this week. Oh my bad. I'm. I was fucking. I blacked out there for a second. That's okay. I know how you feel. Oh my god. I fucking time traveled. Very good. Very time good. warped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, buddy. Yeah, I'm good. Have you guys have you guys voted yet? I haven't. See tonight. Yep. Ballots in. I tonight. dropped out. Yeah, this morning. Wow. Chase, you, yours, go yours is in. yours is still next to the cat food. Yeah, I'll get it. Fill it out. <laughs> Pretty man. crazy, man. If you fill it out before I leave, I'll drop it off for you. 
All right. So I have a conspiracy, man, about this whole fucking thing with the election. And okay. it has to do with the World Series, man. Holy shit. You guys want to hear of a fucking right. Right. Little current conspiracy no. theory? Dude, let's do some conspiracy no. theory. <laughs> yeah. All right. Theorizing. Give me a little, buddy. Let me fucking... I bring out my notes, but basically the fucking World Series was rigged as... Uh, not necessarily rigged, but the, out, the numerical outcome of it is kind of an interesting thing. All right? So... The Cubs were in a drought for 108 years. 108 right? years. Okay, and then so we have this. Seven Spoiler alert: series. The Cubs are the World Series <laughs> champions. Spoiler, Spoiler alert. alert! Did you watch it, David? Oh, the whole thing. All right, it was the yeah. best baseball game and I've ever seen. Yeah. People are ever. It, it was this massive gathering of humans and stuff. And then what's weird about it is, okay, tenth inning, eight runs is how they won, and it's been 108 years. So there's a big emphasis on the number 108. <laughs> yeah, okay. I get okay. it. And Jesus. In, <laughs> my mind. All right, but in in oh numerology, 108 is like a powerful number of uh, humanity, like coming together and unity and stuff, and like a calm feeling and uh, and all this weird stuff, right? That, What's like, that? What's the background behind that? Behind, behind the 108, just fucking ancient myths, some Mayan man. shit or something. Just, yeah, just old school mm. fucking weird number stuff. Okay. Um, so one, <laughs> fuck but yeah. so that these numbers mean that, you know. And then uh, what's also weird about it is it's one of those that 108, 1 plus 8 equals 9. And 9 is a super fucking important number, too, when it comes to, like, the power of things. And Wu-Tang. And stuff, number you know? 9. All right. Yeah. Number uh, 9. Let's see. Uh and then 108 broken down is pretty interesting. Like, but so numerology wise, like this all has a lot to do with like helping humanity come together and stuff. And it's just so weird that this series, baseball has been on a decline lately. People aren't watching it. And then all of a sudden this like matchup happens where people are actually interested in it again and watch this. And then through this way, like everybody's seeing these numbers and that has a subconscious influence. So I think that this was made to like, it, we're at a crazy time in the United States and like, it's like a chill out thing, which is interesting. Just Did you guys all watch grow up with baseball? Now. Yeah. Did you play? Nope. Dude, back no. in the yeah. home run I fucking steroid days, bro. Fuck remember yeah. Mark that? Mark McGuire and Bear Bonds just oh, blasting man. them off. Man. <laughs> See, I remember before that, before there was... There was nothing before Egger, that. fucking... <laughs> Jose Eddie. Canseco and Mark McGuire on the A's. Yeah. Wow, we Ricky Buner. Henderson. Remember Buner? <laughs> oh, dude, Jay Buner. Holy he, shit. He was in a Seinfeld episode, like, uh, when George was working for the Yankees, Frank Stanza was like... Dude. And and you traded Buna for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like so mad at Steinbrenner. Yeah. Yeah. That's Dude. why it's interesting too because it was baseball of all things. It's like America's game. Yeah. Fuck yeah, mm-hmm. man! Had to fucking have a cards. Comeback. I, we all know David's a fucking stat guy. I, like, yeah, I can do some. Who stats. won the World Series in fucking eighty two? I have no idea. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not that good of a stat guy. My my knowledge is like pretending. I know you're rain man, but not the, in colleges. Not, not 100 percent rain man. Uh, Only like 50 years. Uh, I'm 50 not burger. not that good man. <laughs> no, that's just something interesting that I thought was fucking Ichiro? weird that happened. Very Ichiro. I saw some shit. Randy up. Johnson. Whoa, this is weird. the big unit. Randy Johnson, man. dude. I remember. Remember when he killed unit. that bird? Hmm? Remember when he yeah. killed that yeah, bird? Yeah, oh, yeah, it just exploded. He was at the Diamondbacks. Just white white bird, like a white dove, right yeah, in front of classic, his... Classic, classic. Oh, fucking man. awesome, dude. He's, unbelievable. He fucking yeah, unbelievable. It. He was a fucking tall motherfucker, too, 6'10". Dude. He was left-handed, too, <laughs> He looked like he? Danny Carey from Tool. Yeah. Was he left-handed, Fire I believe? Yeah, he was left-handed. Lefty, dude. Southpaw. What a fucking nightmare. Imagine, like, going up against dude, that motherfucker, His dude. fastballs and the, way, the angle they came in because of how tall he was, it was just like, he was, there's nothing like him. Fucking nightmare, dude. Sidearm slinging. And his reach was fucking gnarly. Mm-hmm. Like, just fucking, oh, yeah. I'm not going to try to throw, simulate throwing a ball here. I got some, uh, even, I got some, tie my shoes. some Food Network news. Food Network, Ooh. what's going on? You guys might not even know this, but the show Good Eats. I know Good Eats. Has been... We haven't had new episodes of Good Eats in four years. Yeah, I believe that. Well, Alton Brown's bringing it back. No way, dude. Because you know I'll stay up all night watching Good Eats. Yeah. You ever watch it, Alba? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it. You've you never seen Good Eats? Cook. I don't think. Good he Eats does specific one thing an episode and teaches you how to do it. <laughs> oh, really? Tight. Like, well, because that's kind of what I miss about the Food Network was like fucking. Dude, here, but he's scientific about it. Look, he here's, breaks it all down. Here's what he does. He so he takes. This like say this episode will be about cabbage, right? And then he'll cook two, three, or four cabbage dishes. dishes but he sh- he shows you like 
where it's from, why it's how it is, how to cook it best, the different methods you can use to get the most out of it. Hell yeah. All sci- he breaks it down awesome. scientifically. scientifically. And, and he's, go got he's, he's got jokes. He's got jokes? Dude, he's got jokes. Dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I want to watch these. Dude, there's so many. Episodes. You could probably. Dude, once you tight. start, you're fucked. Yeah, it's you'll never run out. Is it on the flicks? There are some yeah. seasons Old on Netflix, crazy. but not all of them. He lost a bunch of weight at one point. He's a fuck. That was more recent. That was one of the more recent seasons. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to watch that. If Honestly, dude, I've just been, every time I get a chance, I've been playing Battlefield lately, and I'm just fucking How's stuck. the How's the Battlefield Can't going? Do other shit. <laughs> how's it it's going? It's really good, man. It's fucking fun. And uh, I guess they're doing a huge update because it you know, just released, but now they've got all this feedback, so they're going to, like, change up some maps, do some, like, leveling and trying to fucking match things better on different servers and stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's fucking cool, man. Like, I never got into a Battlefield game. This is my first one, and fucking it is an uh, interesting one. I'm getting better, man. I still suck. You're playing multiplayer? Yeah, dude, just doing the, the you got a squad conquests. Um, I got a squad shout out. Rowdy Ram is super alito, man. We <laughs> <laughs> Ram that ass. We got that squad. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, that because that makes such a big difference, man. When you're doing a big conquest against people, like having people there so you can watch each other's six and stuff and yep. really like go in, man. Like that's super dude, fun because you get so into Think it. Think about you know? this, dude. So For me to join the squad, all I need to do is buy Battlefield and get a mic. And I could be in. I could be your guys' like health guy. Come in, like, <laughs> dude. Don't actually, shoot me. that class in this game, the medic, is super fucking good to be. But it's pretty hard, man, because you got to try and go heal people and stuff. Yeah, but, uh, you got two jobs. Yeah, Crawling it's tough, shit. man. Because somebody's dead, that means somebody just shot them, and you got to try and You're get in, the in fucking there, fire heal zone. them. Yeah. It's Do you have great. a pistol at least? Oh yeah, you got to The the meds actually have a good gun. It's like a semi-auto that. Uh, right, they do. That can you can get scopes on and stuff. So it's kind of almost like I like sniping with the medic, actually. Nice. It's Dude, a good method. it looks fucking insane. Like, fucking. Dude, are you seeing like, cause you some can, videos? You destroy stuff. fucking cities, right? Yeah, Pretty and much, seeing like, the videos of what people do, do, like jumping off of cliffs and landing in an airplane that's yeah. going by, or like, right. you know, just the perfect timed grenade just takes out a bunch of shit. Like, dude, nothing feels better than taking out a tank with your little fucking anti mine ah, grenades. It's been so, it's fun, so long since I've been, like, yeah. into a first person shooter. Yeah, yeah, and that's ah. the thing. I haven't really been into one in a while either. And, and it, it, this is one that definitely gets me anyway. Anyways, you like, are you playing PlayStation? Yeah. Okay. PS4. That's a bummer. You're, you're yeah, an that's Xbox the thing, guy, dude. Right? On, PC. PC. On a All PC, I could see that game being tight because yeah. it is a little like the PS controls are a little slow with it, you know. So there's definitely some times where I'm. You like, got to have a fucking badass computer though to fucking play that game. Well, I do. You do? <laughs> well, not really. Red Rover, bring I have that an okay. fucker right well, on probably over. Probably good enough to I'm play. Not bringing it. it. Oh, it's more than <laughs> Red <laughs> Rover. Red, Red Rover, your computer. <laughs> bring my computer over. Dude, here. yeah, like LAN party style. <laughs> no, dude. Man. Take the fucking fifty inch. I haven't what? taken my desktop anywhere outside of like a place that I inhabit. Yeah, that that's the beauty of this. Yeah, age. it's a fun time though. When's the last time you had a good old fashioned LAN party? Probably two or three years. <laughs> Let's do it. But hey, cor- a- correct me if I'm wrong, but was there some uh, Diablo three news this week? <sighs> this is all Elijah. Yeah. <laughs> what? You don't look happy. Uh, oh. They announced a new thing. So we we were hoping we'd see either Diablo four or a new expansion for Diablo or Diablo remaster. Something that people oh, right. care about, right? Yeah. Well, they they came know. out with a character pack. They're right bringing a right, new class did. to Diablo. They're bringing a Diablo 2 class, the Necromancer, which is tight. Let's summon and some bad that motherfuckers. Their, but that was it's, their big announcement. That's their big announcement. <laughs> Everybody was hoping for a They're bringing out this. Game. Well, it, the, here's the thing. It's kind of an expansion pack because you're going to have to buy it. All right. They don't know. They haven't released pricing, but it's suspected to be like in the twenty-ish dollar huh. range. Can't be more than nineteen ninety-nine. You right? get a new class, and then you get a new portrait frame and a pet. I don't give a fuck about a pet. Two or a portrait two frame. spots in your stash, and then two more characters left. Stuff. It's fucking stupid. That's yeah. crazy. It's, that it's was so dumb. That's, That's fucking bullshit. This game, I'm actually mad now. Yeah, this game's <laughs> been crippled since it came out, and they like they just it's like they just don't listen to anybody. And it's the only game I play. <laughs> Story of my life, right? You guys picking up on this? Like, if you play Diablo three all the time, you're not gonna do anything. <laughs> you just gotta fucking play greater risks. That's it. That's it. Just it's the same grind all the time, and it's never gonna change. But that's the thing. That's a lot of games, though. A lot of yeah. games are just such a fucking grind, and the same thing over and over in order to get anywhere. It's just it's such a bummer that 
you know, old, old games like Diablo 2 right. are so much more... They have so much more depth than Diablo 3. Yeah, they, they fucked up. They they did. They did. They did. Like, right. I can't argue, like, that, that game has so much potential to make a shit ton of money and have a... F- Dude, there's 30 p- people playing Greater Risk right now. Yeah. If you go to public games, you know what I mean? 30? That's not good. <laughs> no, that's I'm, not good. I'm not... Uh, 120 I mean, do best. they have the bandwidth? Yeah. It's Blizzard. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Honestly, if they got World of Warcraft, so who gives a fuck? If we're being honest, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna fucking buy it. Oh, me too. Oh yeah, all day long. 110. <laughs> percent I'm gonna play it for a good 30 to 60 straight. Yeah, I'm you know, principle well. having yeah. motherfucker. Why don't you get on a new I, game? I it's know. So bad. Because there's, I mean, the only other game similar to Diablo that's worth jumping on is Path of Exile. But Path of Exile is like, oh, well, I do like it. Complex. I, I fucking played it for a while. It's fun. It's more like Diablo 2. It's a lot like Diablo 2. It's old school map. The fucking, you know, remember yeah. the see-through map that was uh-huh. like 2D or whatever the fuck? I don't know. It was like fucking <laughs> Beta 069 <laughs> floppy disk. <laughs> beta 069 what? floppy disk. <laughs> whatever the fuck. But yeah, Path of Exile, their skill tree was fucking gnarly, Yeah, dude. the skill tree's insane. Like, dude, this is like some nerds that build their fantasy fucking Diablo. Mm-hmm. And it's free to play. Which is cool. Yeah. I'm going to start playing it again. Why the fuck have it? Because it's probably not on your computer anymore. It is, actually. It is. I'll play it with you. All right. You I'm reinstall it after you went to Windows no, 10? No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I'd have to re-get it. Not a big deal. All right, let's get to the shit. <laughs> um, David, we're going to need your help with this. But we got two tickets to Mike Thrasher Presents Dark Tranquility at the Hawthorne Theater, November 27th. We got to give these tickets away. Okay. How should we do this? Um, Whoever guesses Billy's... Favorite wrestler, Billy Soroki. Who's the lead guitarist in that? You can guess his favorite wrestler. But what if nobody guesses it? I win. I, I'll give one subtle hint. Somebody's going to guess it. It's not a hint at all. But, yeah. You know. No. It's, 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 a, it's, you know. So this is, this is what we're going with? You this just is... throw wrestlers off. Like, people can, uh, right. how hard is it to name a wrestler? Shawn Michaels. Johnny Johnson. Johnny Johnson's not a real wrestler. There's no wrestler named that. <laughs> Johnny Johnson, Anyone? there's got him. You know, it's actually McSteen. interesting that you said that. Johnny Johnson. Well, uh, I don't want to riff off, and but Guy Fox, when he gave his fake name on this day, like yeah. 400 years ago, gave remember, the name John remember. Johnson. John Johnson. And you just said Johnny. Wow, Johnson. wow. That's my Evoking dude. The spirit. Things are, things are, <laughs> this is a full remember, circle. Remember, kind of day. this is a full circle. This is a weird day, boys. My go-to. <laughs> I feel weird right now. My go-to with made-up names is. Same same names, so like Steve Stevenson or Mike, oh, right, yeah, Mike yeah. Michaelson, so, yeah. Andrew and <laughs> Dan Danielson. That's right. one of my favorites. Yeah, you're going same letter. Like yeah. if I ever have a, a well, it's kid, more than it's a letter. Be Chase it's... Chaserson or some shit. <laughs> Pingree. You're gonna change your you don't last have to name to Chaserson so you can <laughs> <laughs> name your child Chase Chaserson. Chaser. <laughs> All right, how about this? We'll just make we'll make this simple for the people. Contact us. I don't care how. Twitter, Facebook, email, triplebpodcast.com, triplebpodcast at gmail.com. However you want to, hit us up and tell us why you want these tickets. Hey, give me those tickets. Give us a reason. That's an acceptable. (laughs) All right, so you're not. uh, That's reasonable. Brock Lesnar. Slash. If you guess his favorite favorite wrestler wrestler on top, there's a slash. There's an A and a B to this fucking giveaway. It's it's Lesnar. You already gave away the giveaway. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. Oh, you just fucked up. Brock Lesnar, bros. Yeah, it's Brock Lesnar. That would have been easy. F5s all day. (laughs) Fucking, what's up, Billy? I like that guy. (laughs) What's up? Billy, Billy is in the band Von Doom. They're playing he's a this shredder, show. dude. Oh yeah, he's and, really shreds. And, they're a good band, man. They really are. Like our other buddy, Jason Hooker's the lead singer. Jason's the singer. He right? always yeah. goes he's live on Facebook and get in that shit. Yeah, I went live on raw? Facebook and watched raw. the Bridges at the Twilight Theater last night at like one two, twelve in the morning. I was watching Raise the Bridges on my cell phone. Really? That back. Crazy. Yeah, Shout it was Scotty. weird. I, I was just saying. I was like, kick Scotty in the balls and said <laughs> <laughs> you know, the chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, dude. And, dude, I watched King Griffey Jr. get all uh, censored up and do swings for MLB 17 on Facebook Live last night. Really? Yeah, it was a weird night. I was like, I fuck. It was like one of those nights where I'm like, this is the internet's fucking awesome. Yeah. I get mad about this bullshit. Okay, so listen. It makes me have to know everything. <laughs> so now funny. I'm the fucking asshole. Twitter, you know? Instagram, at Triple B Podcast, right? Triple B Podcast on Facebook, Triple B Podcast at gmail.com. 
triplebpodcast.com. Go to one or any of those things and let us let us know why you want these tickets. What these tickets mean to you. Why we should give them to you. It's pretty serious. Sell yourself. It's going to be easy. Sell your soul. Send a dick pic. See some good stuff. (laughs) Dick pic, automatic win. And big, uh, big automatic winner. Automatic yeah, winner. Yeah, if you send do that dick, before you uh, tickets. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> you slide in your phone number there uh, again. Two five six six five one seven five zero five. If you're gonna fucking send a fucking don't send dick pics. If you're gonna send do it, though, you're dick gonna dick win. Tics. Trust me. Like, yep, you won. First one. If I get your fucking uh, if I get a bunch of dick pics, I'll drive them to you. Personally. I'm burning those tickets. I'll get my truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking drive them to you. Make sure you get to us before uh, Saturday the 19th. What's today? So Friday the 18th will be the deadline. What's today? Doesn't matter. What's Monday? Doesn't matter. Seventh. Today's the 5th. Remember, remember oh, the 5th. It's early remember. still. Fuck, I got another week till payday. The gunpowder treason Fuck. and plot. <laughs> I know no reason why gunpowder treason should, should ever be, be forgot. forgot. Are we watching V yeah. for Vendetta Respect. after this? Point? I think we're going to. Yeah, have I think to. I think that just happened. Yeah, I think that's real. that decision has been made. Let's end on that note, eh? <laughs> well, I think we're almost. What would have happened yeah. had he made um, it, man? The sat made it with the assassination, bro. dude. Britain would have never been the same, bro. Fucking shit. How are your guys' uh, burgers from Darcy's? It's good, <laughs> dude. That was a filler upper. It was like diner, just whatever, like it was straight up American diner ingredients combined. Like into if you're a, a like, bodybuilder and you're trying to put on thirty pounds. Um, that's the burger you're eating. See, I don't feel like this was... <laughs> there was Jiffy on the... Dude, just straight Popcorn? Jiffy peanut butter. Jiff. Jiffy peanut butter. Jiff. Jiffy. Jiff. Jiff. J-I-F. Jiff. It's Jiffy, right? Choosy oh, mom's Jiffy. choosy. Dude, this is the Jiffy that Mandela Jiffy thing. Lives. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like the Berenstein Bears? Mm-hmm. Or the Berenstain Bears? Berenstain. What's that called? The Mandela... Complex. I don't think it's the Mandela effect. Yeah, but the Mandela effect. That's what it is. Huh. So Chase, you're not All alone right. in remembering Jiff as Jiffy. Okay. People, enough. there's swarms of people that believe growing up that it was called Jiffy peanut butter. Why? And that somehow the timeline timeline changed, split, man, and it became Jiff to us now. Wow. Even though our memories are it used it was, we're close enough to Jiffy that it's still in our fucking print DNA print. Was it Jiffy? Our memories. It's Jif. Is this like Jif. some sort of weird theory thing? I don't know. Right. Just like with Bernstein. Yeah, like the Bernstein Bears. What's that one? Well, what, yeah, Do you not know about the thing? No, Phil. No, I remember them Bernstein Bears. I thought you were tell, calling Chase a Bernstein Bear because he's the Red Bear. Okay, yeah. that's I fair. Didn't but know what no, a lot of people remember Bernstein. Too high boys. S E E I. The spelling of the name Bernstein. Yeah. S T E I N. Yeah. No. No. Look, find find a book. It's of it Spain. S T A I. No way. Yeah. You guys I see didn't it. Know I see it. It's E I N, right? It always was. Yeah, it was the Berenstein Bears or the Berenstein Bears. A lot of people think that this was a nine eleven fucking timeline shift, and so Berenstein. Because if you go back and look at the books, look up online, I'm watch the show. I'm freaking out right now, dude. Something definitely happened. It's S T A I N now. <laughs> Jesus, really? On everything. Yeah. There's no. Yeah. Proof fuck of that. Right. Yeah. What is that? That's, That's what, what they call okay. Well, one of the, a possible explanation is the Mandela effect, which is when a a large group of people remember something incorrectly, right? Like Jameson's. Like Jameson's. Max Graves does that. Christopher yeah. Watkins. I think that's just more of a... He just puts S's at the end. <laughs> that's just a S's. thing. Yeah. He, he's just the number one sloth, that's all. But Jiff is a good example <laughs> because yes, a lot of people swear it was called Jiffy. Yeah, I butter. always called I it, Jiffy. it Jiffy. But it's Jiffy. Mom, can I get some sourdough and Jiffy? And the same with Febreze, you which know? at some point people believe there was more E's in the name than there actually is. But a lot of people believe it. Yeah, I don't see that I one. I don't believe that one. I don't I don't remember Dude, E's. Go on YouTube and just Google the Mandela effect and yeah. there's right. people that got lists of things and they'll, you'll be like, Oh yeah, I remember that and then they're like, but Nope, it's not that's wrong. Yeah, it's a very strange thing. It, it doesn't really make sense. It's, it's tight, but the Berenstein crazy. Bears one is the ultimate. That because one, yeah, that everybody, everybody knows. I, I know it as Berenstein Bears, not Berenstein. Because it was. Yeah. Well, have I shared my, my theory it? with you they guys about idiots. the OJ effect on Trump? What's no. That? No. I, f- I feel like Trump, so I feel like this is all OJ Simpson's fault. That white Bronco. Yeah. When when they were going down, the, like when the coverage was happening, everybody in the nation was watching it, right? Right. And TV executives had never seen bigger ratings than that. Yeah. Um, so 
it led to reality television, reality real TV. world, you know, uh, Survivor. People just started geeking out on it. it got bigger and bigger. Oh right? yeah, and then Corporate Trump TV. Trump gets Trump's the, the culmination of all this. He, yeah, he gets the Apprentice. Bullshit. And so hype. there's all these yeah. simpletons in the country being like, "Man, I remember that guy on that one fucking show. He knew what the fuck he was doing at the time." You yeah, know. And now he's and, the ultimate reality. And now he's, show. he's rich. And now he's, uh, you know. So close to possibly winning. We owe, insane. we owe reality TV to it's, O.J. Simpson. It's all O.J. Simpson's fault. Well, and he's going to start a Thanks, lot of his own reality TV network and I'm, shit. He's uh, starting yeah. the Trump TV. Dude, honestly. Yeah. Which why not? Be. Dude, honestly. Why, why the fuck yeah. not? The O.J. Why effect. Not? Right on. Maybe I'm Maybe crazy. Maybe a year ago or two, I've been like, eh, you're an reasonable. idiot. Yeah, yeah pr- probably still But could. I don't think so. But, you know. Like, yeah, pretty so. soon we will have that dude. What is his name? Herbert Mountain Dew Camacho or whatever from fucking Idiocracy. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Terry Crews. Terry well, Cruz. that was the. Be- Dude, I would, maybe I'd one be of us president. will be president one day. Nope. nope. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. Bro. Nope. <laughs> president <Probably>. Abaddon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh well. Thank president you. David Lincoln Mann. Pre- that's a good. That's, that's a good. A good president. 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 Maybe yeah. David will be president. Yeah, presidential name. Yeah, presidential you know. name. For first sure. president. David Lincoln, man, you're the first first president. The first first. There's some weird thing that you figured out (laughs) that you got in. Like I'm binary fucking beard man. Binary (laughs) beard man makes me man bun first first president. president. (laughs) Here he here he binary beard man first first. What? (laughs) No, (laughs) that is a symptom of a separate universe. Uh, Jesus. Vote for no, it's man. a timeline shift. Dude, if Zeb yeah. was Prez, it'd be Prez Dak. Yeah. It'd be perfect. I know. Prez Dak. Prez, Prez Dak, Dak Prescott. Prescott. Prez Dak Prescott. If I were president. President Chase Pingree. <laughs> <laughs> Republican. <laughs> president Chase Pringle. <laughs> Try it. Try to announce yourself as the president. Sir President Chase Pingree. Sir President. Sir President, <laughs> president Justin Sir Sims. President. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the United States, Elijah <laughs> Scott Lundgren. <laughs> Pretty no, good. That's yeah. not good. I don't, like I don't know. President Lundgren. Lundgren. That could be a, like a. a that kind of sounds. The British. name of the president on like an ABC show. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. President, president I'll take that. President Lundgren. Lundgren. Yeah. The Village Chapel's on fire. More like <laughs> our badass fucking gunslinger. Fuck, get over here, Lundgren. Are you Lungan? Get over here, Lungan. Dude, you just Lungan? you just tapped into Tombstone Doc Holiday. <laughs> Lunger. Lunger. What you Lunger. doing, you Lunger? Lunger. Yeah, Fucking Johnny Get Ringo. You fucking longer. Well, I can't Ringo. cuss on NBC, but... Has anybody seen the Wonder Woman trailer? Uh, nope. Uh-uh. Looks no. tough. I, Don't give a fuck. Yeah, uh, it's looks tight. No, maybe Looks I badass. I do want to watch it. I, I saw it on the feed, and for some reason, I just didn't have the time to check it out yet. I think after uh, uh, Doctor Strange, it's my last one. <laughs> yeah, That's it? I'm tapping out of fucking no superhero shit. Yeah. What about Fantastic Beasts and where to find them? Nope. That's going to be... No, that doesn't... Nope. I'm talking Harry straight Potter. up like... like Comic book, talking superhero, comic book superhero. Right. Tapping Why out. Why? But I'll watch. Here, I'm tapping out movie theater. I can't say that because I'll go. <laughs> New Spider Man, I'm going. Who am I fucking lying to? You know, like, everybody. God damn. Yeah, you're going to go. All see right, some comic I take it all movies. back, dudes. Fucking, we're in. We're seeing every goddamn fucking uh-huh. comic book fucking movie known to man. No, we're not. Yeah, because you hurt your back, and now we're just. I don't want to see them all anyway. Let's most go after most of them. Suck. Right, let's make up for this. <laughs> On me, boys. <laughs> You're high. <laughs> Simmer down. Simmer um, down. What Get, about the Train Spotting uh, Two trailer, dude? Have you guys seen that? Uh, train Spotting's coming back. No, same dude, same nice. director. Really? Yeah. Okay. You remember the yeah. first Train Spotting? Now that's a reboot Drug of okay movie. With. Yeah, that it actually looks like an interesting one because it is a continuation of the story. Isn't that the, the fucking heroin scene? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So this is basically yeah. what happened. Maybe on the ceiling. Twenty years, 20 years later. later. Yeah. yeah. Good fucking lord. Obi Wan. So, I, you know, I don't know if they can really live up to that hype and just that strange kind of uh, thing that they hit on with the original one uh, because it was kind of this obscure movie where it was like, oh, dude, you got to see that shit. Yeah. And it yeah, it was like Kids or one of those. Remember? Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. Or even, like, uh, see even Leto and fucking... Leto. What's that movie? A Requiem for a Dream. Yeah. Requiem. Yeah, isn't that same, same era of films like that? Kids was crazy, though. That movie was fucking Kids. It was good. That's how I found out about the hit. So two <laughs> <laughs> mission accomplished. The hit. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you found out about it. That's where that one kids. came from. Man, you oh. never heard of it oh, prior. Shit. Oh, not really. You know what I mean. My parents were like fucking talking about 
where, I don't know, maybe they were. What did your parents talk to you about when you were know, a kid? Dude. Wow. That's a crazy thought. <laughs> motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of motorcycle talk going on. A big motorcycle family. How was your day? Okay. Uh, Moving on. Motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck were we talking about? I was just playing all the time, dude. You know what I mean? I was a fucking on the go. We were all playing. We were kids. Yeah, dude. You all right over there? Yeah, man. I'm a little tight. <laughs> yeah. Do you need anything? Can we help you? Just your friendship, boys. <laughs> just your Just friendship. to kind of get this over with, maybe? Would that help? Nah. I'm good, dude. You want to stand up a little bit? Stretch the old All right. So <laughs> what, two other trailers I want to talk about real quick. I mean, like, real quick. Like, we don't even have to talk about them. I just want to mention them as things so I can hashtag them. Yeah. The Arrival trailer oh, that looks with Amy great. Adams. That yeah, which great. looks like a new kind of contact, right? Mm-hmm. Like it looks contact or maybe like a, any one of those kind of... It has like 100% of Rotten Tomatoes right now. Is it out yet? Cause it, oh, the 11th. 11th. The 11th. 11, okay. 11. It, it looks good. Ooh. That's one that I want to see. Speaking Gosh. of numerology. I love that. Yeah, that stuff. is a day to 11, see 11. that movie. Whoa. That you'll transcend. And then the other, yep. the other one, you'll arrive. on a similar note, Chase brought to our attention the Life trailer. Yeah, so that's a space one as well, right? Yeah, so they're like out in space and they discover life, I guess. Yeah. Whoa, Spoiler alert. The fucking the flower fucking whatever. It looks interesting. Attacks man. the guy when you he's look, in the fucking okay. booth. You look at the when development. The pressure cooker. The development of sci-fi with the more and more we know about technology and the singularity and where life actually came from, like these uh, these movies are getting pretty interesting. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. um, yeah, even like a Prometheus, man, I love that movie. Just kind of the, isn't there supposed to be another one? Um, I think so, but fucking dude is so crazy. Yeah, Ridley Scott's just uh, he's in his own world, you yeah. know. So there was a, a, a news story the last couple of weeks sometime that uh there's a signal coming from a specific set of stars oh yeah do you guys believe this the official explanation i heard it is the official eh, yeah it's probably aliens (laughs) yeah which is very weird because this kind of slipped in but it's like there's been so many stories about this that i don't think people are really paying attention but basically like the science community did go like yeah we've been receiving some weird signals for a while now and the only real explanation we have for this is like it's a language it's like a the alien like there's language. no there's no way to prove it or verify it but they're like right yeah that's probably what that is i mean i'm i'm behind it they're like they're like look we're not going to say it's aliens or try to confirm that we've discovered life or anything but they're they're like yeah probably Probably aliens. If you Google probably aliens, <laughs> this fucking article will come up. <laughs> you look up probably aliens, there's going to be a lot. I'm not kidding, because that's, that's, that's how I That's how I found it. That's a search engine I can remember. That's Google, how you found Google it? Google probably aliens. Probably aliens. Yeah, right and then hit the news, the wow. news link. That's a big one to be. Uh, that that's tonight. a good band name, man. Probably, probably aliens. Probably yeah, aliens. Let's change our band name. Five yeah, man band. Probably aliens. All right. We're, are we trademarking it right here? Let's do it. All right. Done. Cooking in the Raw is now fucking... Probably That's aliens. The first he probably. doesn't even remember what it was. <laughs> probably Pro- aliens. Probably it's not aliens. a keeper. Neither was the first one, though. Probably aliens yeah. is tight. Um, probably gay. <laughs> <laughs> probably a touch of the downs. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of the downy twos. <laughs> Did downy you say twos. you were going to stop the last that one? Stuff? I'm so I'm fucking Your last re- one. I'm retiring it tonight. Ridiculous. Go to the newly good, revamped triple b podcast.com yeah it's looking good man we just had our website redone shout out to lauren sheets um for helping her for designing what did i think his name was lauren shirts shirts Is that what I I it's, it's, shirts it's quick That's another efficient. paradigm shit shirts it's shirts quick and efficient. Shits. the load time is nothing man you can just stream these episodes Dude, boom like that get on there boom you're listening not if you're on Sunday, yeah i checked Lane. it out it looks really good guys thanks man sure. thanks man Fuck yeah. so shout out to lauren um I like the tweets like the highlighted tweets you yeah you can check out our tweets and our up. instagram it's, it's super useful makes friendly. you look at the shit we well you don't have to <laughs> <laughs> thanks chase. chase uh by the way is mostly in charge of our instagram at this yeah, point just so. as a warning no i'm not that's so Zebulon Dad. Chase has taken most <laughs> most got... of the photos on our on our Instagram account have been taken and hashtagged by Chase. So. Was that Zeb who took the photo in the ho- in the hospital yeah, earlier this morning? Bag of bones. <laughs> Go get it in. <laughs> no, it was Chase. He, he's trying to. Uh, I cried getting in David's car today. 
<laughs> I'm not even kidding. Hey, man. Getting you're into pain. a grown man getting into a Honda Civic, dude. Crying like a baby. There's nothing wrong with crying. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's no shame. Good, there's no shame in anything that happened uh, this morning. Got let Jesus out sometimes. Fucking man. Christ, boys. <laughs> Thank you for fucking making this happen because this was this is oh, yeah. We brought the B to you, man. Dude, I've been trying to have a fucking slumber party. Come on over. Yeah, listeners don't know, but Chase has actually been laying in bed this whole time. Yeah, he's in hospice. Blanky over him. Yeah, mm-hmm. the nurse comes in and it's checks like a, on him every once in a while. It's like a coffin in here, <laughs> <laughs> and it's comfortable. Oh, I watched uh, Bad Moms last night. Bad Moms is that the one with uh, Mila Kunis? Mila Kunis, Mila, whatever. And uh, ooh, Catherine Hahn. Okay, Catherine Hahn is super hot to me. You, you guys probably remember her from Step Brothers. She's Derek's wife. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. The one that she, he, she just he fucks her right in the. She's bathroom. like super like hot, not hot. Yeah, hot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Hot, blonde, not hot. hot. Blonde, right? She's like stay classy, pony boy, or whatever. You know, slaps him on the ass. She's rocking like some C's or D's. Yeah, she's a. Uh, She's built, yeah. is the thing. She's yeah, she's nice and and she's funny in this movie. She's the funniest yeah, part of this movie good. for sure. She's the best. Right on. Um, what's it about? You put it on like the level of like. What's sisters? the name of it again? Bad moms. Bad moms. All right, so it's about bad moms. Yeah, they're just they're mom- their hair they're, down. They're just moms in this community, and they they're going, they're going to get drunk just, and they're going to get into some activities. Huh? Oh yeah, they definitely do Booze a little is bit involved of involved and maybe some sex. It's got a uh, Christina Applegate. <laughs> <laughs> Christina Applegate is in it, yeah, and uh, she's a frisky one. What's uh, Will Smith's wife? Jada Smith. Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett. Huh? She's in Fuck it. Fuck yeah, that's my shit right there. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, big fan. Jada Smith is the shit, dude. I mean, uh, she's got amazing eyes. Oh my god, I wasn't thinking of her. Eyes, she's a but... bitch in this movie too. Yeah, what's it rated? R for sure. All right, cool. R. I, I, I didn't check, that. but I it's R. I mean, since, like, Bridesmaids and all that, I, don't, I mean, even, like, what's the one where they go to fucking Vegas and wacky shit happens? Hangover? The Hangover. Fucking all that shit. These movies. I you know, whatever. It's like, a, it's like the road of, uh, like, uh, what? what are those movies? Hold on. Uh, road Trip and all those, you know? What do you mean? What are you talking about, was, though? Dude. That's just, like, a comedy? I can't say that. Never mind. I was going to talk about Thanksgiving real quick. Dude. Next next episode, we're gonna do like our top Thanksgiving movies. Yeah, because there's a lot that, to choose from. Is that what you were talking about just now, Chase? Your favorite, yeah, your favorite uh, Thanksgiving movie. Yeah, because everybody has one, right? The, the only Thanksgiving movie I know is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I well, didn't know anything. You know what? Winner, winner, winner. That's chicken chicken definitely dinner. the first yeah. one we thought of. But there's more. There's, there's more? a lot. Yeah, man. And some might surprise you. Dude. So well, next week, next week we'll talk about that because it'll be closer to the holiday, um, and we're gonna announce next week who wins these tickets. So don't forget. To tell us, I want those tickets directly. However, you can get a hold of us. Call Chase, hit the Twitter, hit the Facebook, email us, check the website. I'll answer. SoundCloud. <laughs> Call Chase. Yeah, however you can I get a hold of us. Tickets, man. If you want these tickets, get a hold of us. However, you know how, and tell us why you should be the one to get them. Yeah, that's need, dark, dark tranquility and Von Doom. Me. Wouldn't that be tight if that's friends. where I'll, I just had a bunch Among, of friends all of a sudden just uh, give out a bunch of people my number. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he, he did that twice already, though. I know. Uh, I send him dick pics. He loves it. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna seriously. If we get more than 200 listeners, I gotta change my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> These are real white men. These are real problems. Everybody, uh, everybody got something to plug. Abba, what are you plugging? Um, nothing. I got a new EP that's almost done, so there will be more about that eventually. Um, so I'm looking forward. to I don't that. think that's nothing, but explain to me what an EP is. An EP. <laughs> Not everybody knows what that is. It's an extended play. No, it's just like a, a short album. It's like you know five to seven songs. You know, it's like under half an hour or whatever. Um, but yeah, so it's like seven songs that I got that I've been working on, and you know, I think they're finally ready. Um, while I work on some new stuff. I'm so, excited. Oh, yeah. I'm Should excited cool. to hear your shit, little guy. I'll Me be too. announcing some stuff soon, and fucking, yeah, it'll be tight. Nah, that's good, man. The break through that fucking artistic fucking barrier. Yeah. And the, s- the nervous scariness of creating right or writing well yeah and it always like it and it's always happened to that uh, me that way where it kind of comes in floods too it's like all of a sudden mm-hmm. for yeah. over two days write a bunch of shit and then you know take a little break and uh, mine you know, get soak longer up the world. and longer oh yeah they definitely do but hey that's just part of it yeah but how do people find you online 
Um, I have an Abaddon.com, A-B-A-D-A-W-N, but uh, it's holding out a date. Hit me up wherever on the social media, everywhere. Abaddon on Twitter and Facebook and everything, whatever. Chase, how do people find you on the old webs? Uh, Chase's browneye.com. Yeah. <laughs> Full on. <laughs> Elijah, how do, we, how do people find you and your and your works of photography? Uh, Snarls on Instagram, S-N-A-R-L-Z. Snarls. Just Snarls, straight up. Snarls. So you're not snarls. using the website no more. Mm-hmm. The website has a new purpose. We're um, trafficking in Instagram. A... What? <laughs> <laughs> Chase is in a cloud. David, uh, where can people find you and your works online? Um, I'm really into planting logs right now, so I guess just my Instagram. Yeah, look at those Which logs. is? Abbreviated underscore expressions. Abbreviated Underscore, underscore expression. I expressions. can't spell that. Yeah, on Instagram. It's uh, A B B R E V I A T E D underscore E X P R E S S I O N S. Luckily, if you type in the first two or three letters of that name, it come up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, whoever invented that was a genius. Go to triple B podcast dot com. Spell check. Do it. Go to zebdak dot com. Do it. The internet made me so I could write a sentence. Go to Portland Underground Recording dot com. Yep. Jesus, feeling, a break what else is there? <laughs> There's okay. other dot coms. There's Ready, a lot of dot coms. I just warmed up. Uh, Check everybody out. You said Concuss hmm. Creations? ConcussCreations.com. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I want to personally apologize for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt my back really high. <laughs> 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 and uh, uh, and that's what happened. Good job. Any regrets today, gentlemen? Yep. <laughs> I think there's many. <laughs> I think there's a lot. I'm, I regret that I didn't get ice cream. Ooh, Ooh ice cream sounds good right now. That's mm-hmm. not going to be a regret. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go Should, we, cream, cream, boys. Should we hit the grill and chill? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, blizzards. I'm down. Blizzards. I'm yeah. down. And uh, blizzards into some V for Vendetta. <laughs> yeah. Hey, happy election. Happy election week, you jackasses. Oh, God. <laughs> good luck. Congratulations. Good luck. I'll have no part of it. Yeah, me either. I, you know what? I, I kind of pushed out on that whole thing. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can fuck off. I'm not voting. Shout out to Louis CK, but me and Chase are assholes. Jeez, I closed down. I wrote it for the Fuck Close your heart. Yeah. Word up. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. about this uh, old election over here. It's pretty serious, man. The election?